up close and personal. Oh, hi guys. I'm just taking a crap. I know I'm in the middle of nowhere. I don't need no luck, but I do need sugar. What the hell is that? This is my house. In the run, walk, run, walk, run, walk. Keep running to California. The people inside the camera? Yeah, there's people who live in there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm sat on these bins. I was basically just trying to get to the recycle bin, trying to figure out what to do. It's like, if I made the right decision, be a yes man. You know? <laughs> don't say no to anything. He's killing me. I'm trying to show the world that there's cool people out there Just like you. Well, good luck, man. Good luck. Good luck with that. We got a place we can put you up. It's what are the chances of that happening? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Feet are hurting like, ah. I'm Lisa. This is Scott. Ooh, ah, e, ow. Decisions, decisions. It's like, oh, That's how cool. sketchy can this guy be? Like a virgin running 32 miles. <laughs> Seen this on the map. It's the only Exxon, the only gas station, the only chance of getting some sugar <sighs> until Jacksonville. So I've got cliff bars, I've got raisins, I've even got rice and wraps. But I'm gonna buy some juice. Let me ask you something. Are those weights? <laughs> and I just looked at the guy and said, I ran here from Miami. And he's like, huh? I said, this is my house. I'm gonna keep running to California. So then everybody in the gas station was like, well, good luck, man, good luck. Good luck with that. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Where I'm going, I don't need no luck. But I do need sugar. I'm gonna carry sugar all the way. So I'm gonna keep one of these in each hand until I feel I need to drink them. I'm running like Madonna. Like a virgin, running 32 miles. I drank one, haven't finished the other one. Camera is permanently wonky. So, I hope we can get a fix for this. I'm out in the middle of nowhere now. There's no more houses. It's just like this, like swamp, beach, dunes, wild, nothing. Oh, hi guys. I'm just taking a crap. <laughs> no, I was checking the maps in this little patch of shade. And I thought that would be a nice seat just to sit down. It's good to have a rest. So, my map tells me there's 19 miles left, but the good news is that means I've done 13 miles. There was 32, now there's 19. I don't know if I'll do it all in one day, but um pushing for it. Thing is, there's three golden corrals around Jacksonville, so I would kind of like to eat at one of them. I'm gonna see as I get nearer. I'll check the map again. They're all off the coast into the mainland, so it's off track. But I gotta eat. Just, is it worth going that far off track to eat there? Because I could eat anywhere else. I've checked the beach, it's really slopey and sinky. So that's no good. That much Powerade left. A thousand calories per bottle. I'm carrying this other one with just some water in it, which I keep splatting on my face to wash the salt out my eyes so I can see. <laughs> I seem to have lost my bee free bottle that goes in my pocket because my pockets are full of rice and wraps 
the water bottle fell out. Oh, I knew that would kind of happen. I, I, I shouldn't have done it. I should have put the rice somewhere else. Not like I need it in my pocket. If you go back to the original videos back in Miami, those beefery bottles looked amazing. They actually looked clear plastic. They've got nasty brown and I've tried washing them. Of course, I've tried washing them. It doesn't really wash off. They just kind of stay brown. So the next beef free I'm going to get probably will be the greyed out one. Catadine, if you're watching, I'd love a couple uh, military grey beef free bottles. That'd be nice here. They're, uh, they're what I rely on and they're in every single video. I don't know any other bottle with a filter that will crunch up in my pocket like that. You know, I can't carry a bottle like this except in my hand. <laughs> that car slowed right down just to look at me. Someone pulled up next to me and the guy said, what the hell is that? So I just looked at him and then he drove off. I didn't answer, I didn't respond. Just he didn't have the right kind of attitude the way he said it. What the hell is that? And I was just like, keep on running. Some nice trees over there. Lovely little hammock spot. But I ain't stopping. I've been doing the run, walk, run, walk, run, walk. Every song in my headphones. I take a little walk break during the silence. And then when the music starts again, I go. And then as it winds down, I walk. It starts again, I go. Tiny bite-sized steps. I'm like, just do one more song. Just do one more song. Ah. At least it's beautiful. And I know the beach is there when I want it. Right, I want to plug this back in. This is the problem with one phone. Is I have to cut the music every time. All right. Floppy people, floppy. So I'm in the shade, just snacking, snacking on some peanut butter chocolate. Oh yeah. Okie dokie peeps. Thank you for bearing with me with my floppy tripod. I can't really get some of the shots that I normally would, you know, so I know this video will be a lot of like up close and personal. So my thighs are starting to hurt and my feet, just the impact, the weight, the repetition, And it looks like I'm gonna go sideline to Golden Corral. My objective now is get to the T-Mobile store, Jacksonville Beach. At least I can get my phone sorted out, topped up for the month, then jump in the water and cool down. Looking forward to that bit. And finally out to Golden Corral. I'm not gonna go all the way to couch surfing. They've got a guest there already tonight. And it's that extra you know, miles that I can save and do tomorrow. Two miles to T-Mobile, 
so I'm just gonna walk it now. My feet are hurting like, ah, very sensitive. Ooh, ah, e, ow, every step. I mean, I can run, ah, but it hurts. And it's like, hey, why not just cool down, calm down, two miles to go, and let my body just buffer out all the lactic acid and all the junk and just chill, coasting. Little bit of walking at the end is always a good idea. In, when I was training, I used to actually uh, run, you know, home, like to the door and be like, yes, I'm a hero. But I realized I was getting more sore because I wasn't buffering out all the lactic acid. I was just running and then just stop, you know, at the door. So that's a little tip for you. It's not cheating, it's cooling down. <laughs> I think I must have done like close to a marathon today, 25 miles-ish, somewhere around there. It's more than 20, but it's not 30. <sighs> and it's taken all day, the sun is setting now. Melons in a blender. Yes, I'm gonna drink my melons today. Sweet potatoes, all kinds of yummy veggies. I'm gonna go mad on the veggies and potatoes. Yes. Bring it on, some greens to heal me and alkalize and repair. Looking forward to the hammock too. And the sea. I'm looking forward to so many things. I could barely keep my arm up. Ugh. Just to make the video is a strain now. Ugh. So I'm getting low on energy. <sighs> a lot more cars. I passed a Starbucks, so uh, you know it's a populated area. I actually use my maps. I say uh, Starbucks near me, just to find the next point of civilization. I don't actually need a Starbucks, but I use it as a measure of what's ahead. If there's a Starbucks ahead, I know I'm gonna find water, food, civilization. If there's no Starbucks, I know I'm in the middle of nowhere. All right, this is what we've been looking for. My feet are pain, in pain. <laughs> uh, Jacksonville Beach south of Jacksonville but I made it I made it to Jacksonville I made it across the no man's land of nothingness and I'm gonna go to the T-Mobile before I go jump in the water I still want to jump in the water it's not too far away Ooh. hi yeah I'm uh, just wondering if you have a buffet. No, all right, thank you. It turns out that the Golden Corral I was aiming for is closed, permanently closed. There's two more around Jacksonville, but they're between 10 and 14 miles. But my feet aren't functioning well enough to do 10 or 14 miles. <sighs> and a Uber, is $17. I found Lyft was 15 Still, 15 is the cost of the Golden Corral. Plus, then I'm way inland by 10 or 15 miles. And I have to go back out to here. The couch surfing is along the coast. Ugh. It's frustrating that Golden Corral is always so, you know, buried so deep in the mainland. So now I'm just kind of looking around as a Publix. I could just get supermarket food. I'm gonna have a search on the phone and see if I can find any buffets, but it doesn't seem like it. I'm not out by the beach. <sighs> okay, the only buffets are 10 miles inland. China buffet, Golden Corral, anything like that. 
so I'm sat on these bins <laughs> trying to figure out what to do. It looks like I'm going to eat around here. The couch surfing place is only seven and a half miles away. So it just makes no sense to go so far inland just because there's a buffet. I could eat near to here. I think I'm going to just eat Publix food. I'm leaning on the Publix right now. <laughs> eat the Publix food and take it to the beach. I've still got rice, like, <laughs> I got rice and wraps in my pocket. Like, that's just, maybe that's a sign. I never ate them. I just wanted, I was looking forward to that Golden Corral, you know? Got it. Feeling refreshed in the Publix, and I've already looked for some amazing burrito stuff, and I've gone double, you know, double whammy for burritos, maximum burritos, beans, avocado, all that good stuff. So I found a park that's pretty close. We're gonna go there. $20? To be fair, I bought some special protein wraps, which were five bucks. Didn't really need that. And I got double rice, double beans. But still, I could have paid 15 and got to Golden Corral. So I'm kind of like, have I made the right decision? Now I'm just gonna go sit in a park and eat this instead of Golden Corral but then I would be miles away. Whereas right now I'm relatively close to the couch surfing. But it's just annoying how expensive it is. It's only two bags of stuff. Very tempting. I'm like, mm, shall I just go to Golden Corral? Just pay that taxi fare. I'm gonna spend 15 or 20, no matter what. Then I'd rather go to Golden Corral. Decisions, decisions. I could eat this any day. I could eat this at the couch surfing place, you know? I'll have to carry it. Ow! My feet don't hurt too bad now, actually. It was painful, I was like, ah! But now they've had a bit of a break, a little bit of a rest, you know, just wandering around Publix was like, having a rest compared to running. We've done Golden Corral many times. Honk honk. All right, so. I met these guys at Publix though. Yeah. So, um, we got a place we can put you up. It's like a it's like a makeshift mother-in-law suite. It's not completely built out or anything like that. But if, uh, if, you, if you'd like that for the night, yeah. help you out, we'd probably whip you up some rice. Oh, amazing. I've just bought a load of stuff, but yeah, I've got I see it. stuff to go with the rice okay. on me. Alrighty. Um, All aboard. Brilliant. I was just walking so, to a park. Used just sleeping outside. I've got my hammock. Right. But it's nice to be like away from the mosquitoes. And Plus, I like yeah. to say yes to everything. Part of the YouTube journey is like, <laughs> be a yes man. You know? <laughs> Don't say no to anything. He's killing me. I'm yeah. He's killing me. Don't say no well, to anything. We figured you might be okay because all your gear is going to be, you know, cross a few cost a few dollars. Got the hope shoes on, you know. Oh yeah, man. And I'm on YouTube every day from Miami to here. Right on. So I'm not any danger to anyone. It's quite the opposite. I'm trying to show the world that there's cool people out there. Just like few, you, who we randomly met at public. We had, we had to sit there and discuss it, man. He's like, he's like oh, how sketchy cool. can this guy be? Yeah. yeah. Well, you can look it up. Seb Cam on YouTube. Not very okay. sketchy at all. Hold up. My husband said, you've done 25 miles. You probably don't want to just to find a place where you can get a decent food is not worth the track. No. No, I've decided that wasn't out. worth it. In Golden Corral ain't decent food. No. No, I, I just like the fact that I can have as much as I like and yeah. I pick out I pick out the good food. I have three plates of melon, then I have two plates of salad, then I eat every single sweet potato in the place. 
Um, and then I eventually move on to rice and beans. So in which case it is healthy because I've selected the healthy. What's your favorite melon? Uh, watermelon. Because yeah. they're always ripe. Yeah. They're always sweet. And ideally ones with the big black seeds in. You know? They usually are sweeter. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Seb. My name's Seb. This is the cam. Hi, Seb. This is Seb Cam. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm Lisa, this is Scott. Awesome, nice to meet you Lisa and Scott. That's so random. How did we even start talking? Oh, I was doing stretches on the bin. I was basically just trying to get to the recycle bin. Yeah, which I was stretching and on. Thing. And then I, then I saw your gear and I was like, oh, this man's on a mission, he's on a track. Right. Did I tell you where I'm going yet? Yeah. No. All the way to California. Oh man. Yeah. Most I did in one day is 44 miles. Right. And that was horrible. It hurt, and I did a lot of it walking. Yeah. But what's interesting is I was in pain, and I was going to stop at 10 miles. So that day, you know, that day was a struggle at 10 miles, and I still, was, you know, did 44. Shit! The phone totally went in the water. And I used the camera fell in the water yesterday, it was still wet, but it is water resistant, but it has to dry. So it'll be really useful to be in a like dry place tonight instead of right. in my hammock. And maybe this rice that you're claiming, we can put my phone in the rice <laughs> to help it, the help moisture. It yeah. Because I waited, I almost didn't run today. Like I woke up this morning in Villano Beach right. and was like, right, the camera doesn't work. You can't be a YouTuber without a camera. But I have the other phone, so I, miss a day or two. Yeah, and I was going to miss a day and get a hotel. And then I decided, no, just film with this camera, keep going, it'll dry eventually. Yeah. Don't just stop. It didn't feel right to just stop everything and go and get a hotel. Do you have sponsors England. for this trip? Or, are you, or, is, or is basically you doing well enough off of YouTube to make this happen? At this point, I'm unsupported, unsponsored, unrestricted, and have no idea <laughs> how I'm going to make it. Like. I can't say that YouTube are, uh, you know, paying enough at this point. Right. Because you need like a million views right. to get about a thousand dollars. That's roughly the translation of advertising money and all that. Really? But I'm not anywhere near a million views. So I'm getting more like one or two dollars. <laughs> so a lot of people are very helpful. There's a lot of mm -hmm. people wanting to donate. And I just wanted to do some miles and do under my own steam to begin with. Like, right. I didn't want to start in Miami and say, hey, donate. You know, pay. Right. I haven't even done anything. That was lucky, man. Real lucky. Or synchronicity, or whatever you call it. Yes. Right. I'll put this back on. It's easier to carry when it's on. I like that you use that word. Oh, there's going to be some dog friends. Hey. Buddy. Hi. Hey. I'm your friend. Is it going to be okay to stay here? <laughs> yeah. What do you reckon? You gotta worry about those dogs. They don't pass. They don't, they don't pass judgment too easily. <laughs> hey, hey, hey buddy. your buddy. Yeah. It really is called buddy. Yeah, it really I is always cool. call dogs buddy. I'm like, hey buddy, how you doing, buddy? Oh, it's a good buddy. And that's twice now I've met a yeah. dog that's actually called buddy. So I got the name right. There's been so many times today where mm -hmm. I thought I'm filming, right? And the camera wasn't on, and I've like gone and run down the beach, turned around and run back, you know? Yeah, you miss some things or whatever. Yeah. So are you trying to run and film all at the same time? Yeah. I leave the camera while I run past it. And I run right. back to get it. I'm wondering if that air is going to be too much on you or whatever. No, it'll be nice. You turn the... it's, it's awesome to have air. No yeah. breeze. <laughs> of course, I've got to change the clothes and... Hold on. Um, okay. A shower will be amazing. That's probably a great idea. Then I can relax, you know? <laughs> okay, that's probably a great idea. All right. So just uh, whenever you're ready, come knock at the door and we'll show you to the shower. Perfect. All right. Oh. What are the chances of that happening? Better than sitting in the park. Okay, let's see what state my feet are in after all this. <laughs> not bad. There's not any blisters. Alrighty then, peeps. We're gonna go and have a shower now. Hopefully we can dry this phone. I guess we'll just 
leave it in some rice. I wash my clothes too, I wash them in the shower. Corn. Hot corn. They it. It's a bean sandcastle. <laughs> The people inside the camera? Yeah, there's people who live in there. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Proper like yes. family meal. There we go. <laughs> and I heated up my rice and beans this time. Which oh, did look like dog food in the beginning, but it's a little bit, <laughs> a little more colorful now. I don't know. I think it still pretty much looks like dog food or Mexican food. <laughs> One of the two. Mexican food. There you go. Rice and beans, man. Yeah. Right. I need both hands to eat, so boom. This is amazing. Everybody's left. Well, Ethan's oh, still here. But <laughs> everybody finished their meal in like a split second. Just a small handful of food. I'm still going. I'll be going for hours. Oh, I don't think you're going to finish all this. <laughs> but I will. I think I will. It's just moving slowly. What is it, halfway? Just about. <laughs> Yo, what's up, peeps? I've earthed myself to my earthing sheet with the plug here with the earth socket. Anyway, it's going to be good for recovery. I'm sore, tired, just want to go to sleep. They offered, yeah, I can watch TV and hang out with the family, but I was like, oh, I think I'm just going to go to bed. I'll stay awake for a little while and edit videos. It's just nice to be horizontal in a comfy bed. Back to the snuggle factor. Lovely, jubbly. I don't have anything more interesting to say except this worked out really well. I'll have more energy in the morning. Boop. Love now, create, inspire by doing what you love. Please. Tonight, take an exclusive behind the scenes look at everyone's favorite TV series. Seb Cow. <laughs> yeah!